Well, folks, uh, there she is. One more step, waiting for another part tomorrow. Got everything together, put a new uh, uh, Somerset in. You can see how rusty that one is. It was stuck open. So the car wouldn't reach operating temperature, which means the computer didn't do what it's supposed to be doing once that takes place. So it just hung open, and one day I discovered it when I was driving in the rain. I went to hit the defrost, and I got no defrost. So the defrost was a situation where, you know, it can become hazardous driving without it. And that told me that the thermostat was bad. So we put another one in there. We did a gasket that you make. You can see it kind of gushing out of the uh, side there. Um, I use those. My neighbor told me about these gaskets. And if you use them right, um, follow that direction, you should have much success with them. Um, okay, so here is where the part is going to be put on. Anyone can tell me what that is? I bet you could. It's the uh, mass airflow sensor goes right there. When you unplug it, the car will start fine. When you plug it up, the car will not start. Or if it does start, it runs really rough. It runs bad, and then it then it stalls. But mainly, the problem I was having was that it would not start, and then I. Unplug this here. There's a, a plug to it right. Uh, where's that plug at? Right there. Unplugged it. And if and with this plugged in, it won't start. Um, so with it unplugged, the part goes here. It's got two screws there and one there. And just you just simply drop it in and tighten it down to specs. And car cranks up the computer knows now what it's supposed to be doing because of getting information from this air box it's getting information from this air box and it's doing what it needs to do so the computer has eyes and ears and it needs to know what's going on and that's one of the eyes there that tells it hey to get the air coming in is cold or the air coming in is hot or the air coming in is the correct amount <clears throat> excuse me and over here, you can see I did a new alternator. And I still got to find out why the unit does what it does. It, it always, um, the battery's dead in the morning. I got what they call a phantom drain somewhere. And I'm figuring that these, these uh, the door locks are keep energizing while the car's off. I mean, you know, when you leave it somewhere, the car, it just starts energizing. Zit, 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 it does that. And, and it, it could do that for hours probably. So I think that could be my issue there. But I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, but all in all, new coils, new, um, some vacuum lines were replaced. And then you got the throttle position sensor. That's brand new. Because at first I thought it was the throttle position sensor. And I should have tested it by simply, there it is right there. All I would have had to do to find out later, all I would have had to do was unplug it. And if the car would have ran fine, I would have knew it was this here. So, found out later, but... All in all, it's a good deal. A new one, this doesn't hurt the cars. 22 years old, so didn't hurt anything. And I have to change the oil on it this year. And also this air uh, temperature sensor. Um, what was it, like $2? Brass, good, good quality. So I changed it out, no big deal. It was $2. Got a brand new air filter in there. Brand new spark plugs. Uh, the wires were put on last year, so that that's still good to go. So this car should run like a dream once. Uh, oh, brand new battery. Because I was going all over the place at first for trying to think it was this or that, this or that. Then I said, wait a minute, you're spending money for nothing. Then I got a brand new belt because it was loose. I thought it might not have been charging properly. That's what was causing it. Uh, then, I, then I bought a new tensioner so the belt stays tight. They're easy to put on. Don't, don't ever let them scare you about putting on a tensioner. Don't pay nobody to do that. Don't pay nobody to do that. All right, this is the morning garden.